What are pulsars and what's the difference between neutron stars and magnetars? So I just explained what a pulsar is. Now, what is the difference between neutron stars and magnetars? So let's start with neutron stars. A neutron star is a core collapse remnant of a is the is the is the remnant of a supernova of a core collapse supernova. So typically, you have a, a neutron star is formed after the supernova of a supermassive star, a star that is typically between ten and twenty five solar masses, a super giant star, right? So when a super giant star reaches the end of its life, it it essentially stops burning fuel uh, in, in a fusion reaction. So it typically happens when you have the formation of iron in its core. That's when the fusion react reaction stops because iron is not nuclear fuel. It is nuclear ash. So the moment iron is formed from fusion, so fusion happens by the fusion of, of uh, two, two nuclei. Hydrogen nuclei form uh, fuse together to form helium. And then you have heavier elements that are, that are formed. You have... Uh, you have oxygen, you have carbon, you have neon, and then it reaches the stage of iron. And once all the neon is used up and you, you reach iron, that's when a star is essentially dead. It, it has just a few seconds of life left. And that's when stellar collapse happens. And after the collapse, uh, when, when the st star starts imploding, the core of the star is really compressed very, very strongly. And protons and electrons combine and form neutrons. And so the core becomes just formed of neutrons only, only neutrons, nothing else. And then the supernova ha happens with whatever uh, material is left in the star. And at the end of the supernova, what is left behind at the center of where the star once was is a neutron star. So a neutron star is, is, is typically a small star between 1.4 solar masses and, and around two solar masses. Anything larger than three solar masses, it will become a black hole. So that is what a neutron star is. It is the most compact and dense object in the known universe, apart from black holes. Uh, so that is what a neutron star is. It's formed of, it, it is composed almost entirely of neutrons. Now, what's a pulsar? Like I said, a pulsar is a neutron star, which uh, spins very rapidly and gives off two beams of electromagnetic radiation, typically radio waves in two opposite directions and it pulses extremely uh, in a very periodic manner. What is a magnetar? A magnetar is again another neutron star which has an extremely powerful magnetic field. So the magnetic field of a magnetar is typically hundreds of millions of times stronger than the most powerful man-made magnet available on earth. It's an extremely powerful magnetic field. It is trillions of times more powerful than the magnetic field of the earth itself. Now it is the evolution and decay of this magnetic field in a magnetar that gives off extremely powerful bursts of radiation, typically in the X-ray and gamma ray spectra. And this is what's known as a soft gamma repeater. So this is the astrophysical source of the phenomenon known as the soft gamma repeater uh, phenomenon, right? So that's what a magnetar is. It is a neutron star with a very, very incredibly powerful magnetic field. These are incredibly interesting, fascinating, and exotic objects. And this is the kind of uh, phenomena that the laws of nature throw up.